Yeah. No, do my Monday, my Monday morning check in. But I am putting these ribs in the oven for dinner. Good morning, Soul Squad. Wake up, wake up, wake up. That's okay, because if I do this, I'm taking me a nap. <laughs> I was, I've been up, y'all. I think I was on TikTok and on Discord at um, 4 35 30 this morning trying to figure out who else was up besides me. What's up, Carolyn? Good morning. Good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. Hey, all things say good morning. Hey, Wanda, I got your email. Hey, Carolyn, I am fine. I was up on TikTok last night, girl, because I got the live with y'all. I got the live with y'all last night, and I told y'all I was going to get the walking dead. Honey, the walking dead was looking at me. Good morning, Bill. <laughs> I got this live with y'all last night. I was like, I'm going to look at my walking dead and this, that, and the other. And which I'm not mad that I fell asleep on it because I got AMC Plus and I had already watched it. So you get like, when you got AMC Plus, you get like early access starting like early Sunday morning. So I had already watched that episode <laughs> at four o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning. So, yes. And so I, um... I was up. I, I fell asleep on it. I woke up. My, my sons came home from work. They ate and they woke me up. And I've been woke since like 1230 last night. But then I, I think I went to bed about 6 o'clock this morning. Because I was up on TikTok. I was up on Discord. I said, anybody woke? <laughs> I was looking for people on Discord. Hey, Black and Bipolar. Hey, Angela. I was looking for people on Discord trying to think like I'm the only fool who woke 4 35 o'clock in the morning up on TikTok and um and Discord and this, this is all over social media. Not and and I turned my show back on but wasn't even paying attention to it. But like I said, I wasn't mad I fell asleep because I had already watched it. Hey Miss Lynn, hi. Well, welcome. So I'm in here right now because my son Jackson, because I was in a competition yesterday and thank you guys that we won um thank you guys again for your support i didn't get it i didn't cook sunday dinner yesterday uh -uh, way too early good boy so what time is it where you at taylor so i'm in here making a rub y'all because i um let me see if i can put my camera down so mm. I'm in my kitchen. Let me see if I put camera some more. Sorry for all this. I'm in my kitchen cook. I'm in here making the rub. I always make a, a rub for my spare ribs. And so I had told Jackson almost this is like brown sugar and seasonings and stuff. Um, so I had told Jackson that um I was gonna make him some spare ribs on Sunday because he haven't had spare ribs since November. Oh, it's 8:30. I used to get up around now. Oh my goodness. And um, so I said, let me go ahead and put these ribs in the oven while the ribs slow cook. I, I, Cause I could go on 300 while they slow cooking. I could take me a, um, a nap because I just feel like I just want to see, Hey, West Coast Cali. Hey guys. So that's why I'm making my little, um, who wants to make their own rub for their stuff? So this is like brown sugar and uh, all my little seasonings that I use. And I put this on my spare ribs. I always make my rub with my spare ribs. So, yeah.
Good morning. Y'all just finished some pancakes and grits. Um, yes, yeah, sir. That's what I'm glad here. No, Bama. I ain't said nothing about making no pancakes and grits. I told you I'm not cooking breakfast. You choose to be hungry. It's food in here. Like I told you, I am not cooking. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. Like it's turkey bacon, and I told you, like the people had pancakes and grits, you can make you some pancakes and grits. All the time I told him, he chose to be hungry. I don't feel like cooking. I didn't cook. I'm going to bed. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but I told him before I got on this camera, he said, what you doing in there doing? I said, I'm about to put these spareribs in the oven. I'm tired and I'm going to bed. And I'm going to let these spareribs cook while I sleep. Maybe some breakfast. I'm starving. I said, you choose to starve. You choose to starve. It's food in here. They want me to cook all the time, every day. I need a break sometimes from cooking. And it's simple stuff in here that you can really, uh, and it's simple stuff in here that you can cook. If you don't even want to make a breakfast food, make you something. It's something in here. Hey, Zizi and family. They just, um, y'all want to see what I'm doing? Uh-um. Y'all, look at the, um. Uh, I'm basting my, um, basting my ribs. And I ain't get over it. With some mustard, yellow mustard. I should have started with the back. And then I take some of my seasoning. I don't even feel like using my hand. I used to use my hands. That's how tired I am. I'm just like, you know, they just, I know I did it to them, you know, spoiling them with this cooking and stuff, but I'm just going to take this. My I don't even feel like using my hands, but I don't feel like getting back up, washing them again. So I'm just, and that's what I'm doing in here, y'all. How was your weekend? I had a great weekend. I had to get this, get, make sure everything is nice and seasoned. I had a great weekend. And I know this is not the food channel, but, you know, I got to do my morning check-in. And, um, so I just want to let you, this is what I'm in here doing. Now we can talk. So y'all be like, what are you doing? I'm in here, um, in here seasoning, mustering, and getting my ribs in the oven. And then I'm not making nothing to go with it. I got leftover coleslaw. And, um. Jack said he's going to spare me a sandwich. I don't feel like doing all that other stuff. So, leftover coleslaw and spare me a sandwich. That's a Monday night dinner. I didn't even make a video because y'all don't see me made spare ribs so much. I'm on the back part. Good morning. So, I had a good Sunday yesterday. I had church services. As usual, service is always good. Um, how was you guys weekend? You know, we gon' all we gon' we gonna keep ourselves going. So like I say, oh y'all, man, y'all come on now. Come on, Soul Squad. We eight minutes into this conversation and ain't nobody reminding. Hello from Switzerland. No, I know we do it and we do it every day. Uh, I do have a cold slot video. I do. I have a cold slot video I made like last year. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd like to thank God for waking us up to spend another day with our family and friends because that alarm clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Y'all, let me go into a whole conversation. And are you gonna are you watching this? Wasn't it good? I liked it. Damsel. I got this from um I don't know where I got this from. This was a um a, a this is something that somebody sent me to um this address that somebody sent me to um do a video for. But when I got all the clothes from them, I couldn't fit the clothes. They supposed to have been a certain size and they didn't fit. I was like, there's no way this is a full X. Cause you know when you get these clothes from these um foreign places. They, they sizes, the U.S. size is not the same. It is simple as that. The U.S. size is not the same. And when I got I got a whole bunch of them. I could not fit them. But now, 
I could fit the dresses. I could fit the dresses now. I couldn't fit them at first. So now I could fit them. And even though they still the wrong size because they the wrong size. All right, this one is done. It's seasoned. Let me wrap her up. They the wrong size. They, they sizes don't be um, accurate to U.S. size. And um, I'm going to wrap this rib up, y'all, then do the other one. I'm going to oven this already preset for 300. Put this bad buddy in here. They don't, they don't be accurate with... Um, they don't be after U.S. sizes. But now I can fit the dress. Yeah, so I, um, I like it. And I ordered with my winnings. No, it wasn't a team you. It was a, um, company that, um, SA Graphic that got me to do some dresses for them. I forgot the name of the company. And, um, and when the stuff came, I said, like, this, these sizes not true to size. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. And I was like, um, I couldn't fit the dress. That's like they say they're four X, but these are not a four X. A size eighteen and US. It's not a four X. Thank you, Miss Faith. And so, you know, I said that's why I hate doing um these other countries um clothing because they don't know what a US um oh yeah I wrapped my reds up y'all. They don't know what um US size truly is for a plus size woman. So the 18 is not considered a full X in the USA. So, so yeah. So this is what I do. I wrap my ribs. I, I season them. I wrap them up. And I put them on a cookie tray. So that's one down. I got to do one. I got to do two slabs of ribs in my house. So I'm like one slab of ribs to do. And since we're making rib sandwiches and they have a leftover coleslaw. Because that's exactly what we do. Rib sandwiches, coleslaw. That's done. And I'm making it early. Because I got to come live tonight. Y'all, I just pulled up. <laughs> I just pulled up. Miss, um. Um, the video should be on just Krista. She's one of our YouTube, um, subscribers. She's a soul squad. Um, yes, red sandwiches. I am making red, red sandwiches and leftover coleslaw. They haven't been tonight. Get them two pieces of bread. Cut off a nice piece of the rib with the barbecue sauce. Put it on your sweet of bread and have you some cold salt on the side. Baby, dinner is served. And that's what we have for Monday night dinner. That's what we have for Monday night dinner. Oh, I miss what you said, and I can't even touch what you said, baby. So, yeah. So, um, it was a good contest. Yes, Miss Booker. Yes. Brooker. I always say people made wrong. I apologize. <clears throat> yep, yeah, so, um, yeah. The weekend was great. <clears throat> I'm feeling great. Thank you. I mean, so far, I already know I'm speaking a um, good week in, 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 um, in perspective. We got a good. Ah, thank you. She said you did everything from scratch. <laughs> thank you. I was trying to because you only had an hour. And that's why I always say I could never be on one of those contests on TV because they so time constrained. And I don't do, um, I don't do good. Um, well, so far, I got a roast in my freezer. Somebody said they wanted me to do some braised rib, beef ribs. I'm going to see what my what, what I could do with that. But um, right now, I got a roast in my freezer. And I'm going to hold on to, for, I was thinking about it, I'm going to hold on to this roast into, um, into Easter. And, and I might do some roast and potato salad and stuff like that, but I'm not really too sure. I know, I'm, I'm not sure what meats that I want to cook. So, it might be, um, I know it might be a roast. That way, I don't got to be cooking a lot of, I meant your plans, not food. Oh, my plans? 
Um, well, Sunday is Palm. Um, we'll be doing church on Zoom, I believe, but I'm trying to go to church this week on Sunday. Um, because um, this is Palm Sunday, and our pastor said he wanted to get everybody in church. See, I um, our church is small, and they they rent out a um community center. I think twice a month, and then other that, the other than that, we um we're on Zoom, and so he want to get everybody to come out for Palm Sunday, which is this Sunday. But the only thing is, my church is so far, and um. I can't afford to get there. I just don't get there because it costs by it cost me a hundred dollars to get to my church, and so I just basically just stay on Zoom because um, my church is all the way in Greenbelt, and and I'm I'm on the opposite end. So um, I just do you know that's why I always attend my Zoom and always attend my um always attend my um Bible study on Wednesday. So, um, it's called Kingdom of Faith. And it's a young church. And the pastor, man, I just love him and his wife. Um, I got introduced to him by my cousin and his girlfriend. And I've been going ever since. And I just love it. They're good-hearted people. The congregation that I've met is so good. And like I say, every time he come through, um, it's just like... It's, it's all about you. It just feel like the focus is just, it's on you. So I really love it. I love that my church family, you know, I love listening to everybody's story. Because everybody, man, everybody is overcoming something. I told y'all, if life was easy, we'd be living on Gold Street. And life is not easy. So if you're going through anything, if you're if you, you if you're stressing over anything, just know that you're not alone. And it's part of life. Every day is not going to be easy. Life, the life, I don't think life was meant to be easy. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we go through stuff. God constantly testing us. We're constantly testing ourselves. And we got to have the ability and things that we cannot control. We got to learn to let go. We try to hold on to so much stuff. And we can't hold on to everything. If we hold on to everything, it will break our faith in God. It will break our faith in ourselves. And it will give us it will, it will give us bad health. You know what I'm saying? We can't hold on to everything. Holding on to everything that's out of your control, it puts a damper on your spirit. It, it weighs you down. It makes you worry. I'm trying to live life. If I can't control it, I'm, I'm moving on from it. Because it's something that I can't control. I'm moving on for it. So if you're in a situation and you can't control it and it's just weighing you down, baby, get up out of it. It wasn't meant for you to try to control it. Everything we can't be, we can't have control over. We can't. So if you can't control it, leave it alone. I'm wrapping these ones up. These are nice and seasoned now. Leave, leave it alone. Because you're stressing yourself. You're stressing yourself. And I'm learning to do that because I'm trying to think. I'm trying to have a different type of mindset when it comes to the people around me, my environment, and everything. Y'all, I was on before I came on here. I was in my room and I was looking at this YouTube family. I watched this YouTube family called um IAG. Um what are the other um I gotta get the other young ladies' names um to the other contest because it was a contest on Saturday. And y'all, <laughs> that crazy lady that y'all all saw, that name was Miss Lovely. <laughs> she saw that concert. <laughs> she saw that concert. Oh, I was in there, that lady, man. <laughs> you welcome, Big Lonnie. Man. <laughs> Thank you, Renee. I've only been a couple of times, but I thought I'm supposed to be going today. Man, y'all need to see the other contest that she was in. That lady, like Anthony said, our, our, our friend of YouTube, Anthony, if she's a hoot nanny, honey, she's a hoot nanny. <laughs> Man, I'll tell y'all. All right, so my ribs are about to go in the oven. Only thing I don't like, I need some, I give me some, um, it's on my cookie sheet. It shouldn't leak. But, um, see, 
They go in the oven just like this. Wrapped up two slabs of bread. Season the oven is preset for 300. Go in the oven and they are going to cook, baby. When they come out, they're going to be good to the bone. Um, no, I don't think there's no cooking video, um, no contest tonight. But um, I had fun. It was a dipping experience. It was my first time ever entering any type of cooking contest. Like I said, it was a one hour test. It was like a the, the, um, dinner and dessert for under 20, for under $20. And the ladies was, the, they, even with Miss Lovely, you know, she was she, she was great too. Everybody was just great. You know, it's just like, you know some people that you just gotta like accept for who they are and just move on. Cause, cause I, every contest I've seen her in, that's just her personality. And hey, if she like it, I love it. That's all I could do. Ah, Kia! <laughs> she is. Oh, thanks, Key. What's up? She said Antoine's playlist. Also, Key was she was part of the contest too. Antoine's playlist. Um, <laughs> met her and that baby. I remember when you was pregnant, girl. Yeah, like I said, meeting all the ladies, it, it, it was lovely. I had a great time, and um, I'm here for it again. Either win or lose, it's an experience. You know what I'm saying? It's something to experience. So y'all just put my ribs in the oven, and um, yeah. So yeah, so you know we do our um one um our morning check-ins. You know, I like if anybody could take any way from this. Money is tight, Renee, and that is for sure. That that is for sure. And then, uh, and anything too, that meal that I did make, it could feed up to four people. So if you're a family of four, under twenty, and you only gotta go to Dollar Tree, cause I don't need, I don't like promoting Dollar Tree food, especially with the um, they meats and all that stuff. I'm just, cause I just feel like it's really less than. I think you could take the twenty dollars and um probably do something there because I just really feel like a lot of people say, oh, go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree good for supplies, but when it comes to, and it's good for a lot of canned stuff or box stuff, but don't be in Dollar Tree getting your meats. I've been seeing people in Dollar Tree getting meats. Don't do that because that meat is in there for a reason. Okay? It's in there for a reason. But, um, yeah, so it was fun. Uh, it's for 40 days. Tell us, sorry, my internet cut off. Oh, yeah. You see, I like when y'all be having sidebar conversations with each other. I don't know what's going on. But, yeah, it was fun. And I hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, um, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Like I said, I had, yeah, meet at Dollar Tree. Meet at Dollar Tree is suspect to me. But I had a good time. I can't wait to do it again. Um, like I said, we trying to get our girl, just Krista up to, um, up to, um, a thousand subscribers, Soul Squad, so I know we can do it. She's a Soul Squad member. And like I said, anybody here got a YouTube channel, you know, you're welcome. No, my son, everybody else done that. Hey, in Germany, how you doing? Greetings from Germany. Um, my sons did this, but no. Um, no, it's a Dollar Tree or family. No, it's Dollar. You got two, so you got Family Dollar, and you got Dollar Tree. A lot of Family Dollars did close when they turned to they turned to Dollar Generals, but um. Yeah, but um, so it's two of them. You got the Dollar Tree, which really not even Dollar Tree anymore. It's like a dollar twenty-five, and now they got and they also got areas in the Dollar Tree, like stuff like for five dollars and stuff like that. You could go to that too. Um, yeah, but um, so you got the Family Dollar, dollar Tree is two different stores. Um, um, but the Dollar Tree is the one with the lowest prices, and they do got good stuff. And like they got some Easter stuff in there. I was just online trying to find some stuff so I could do some Easter bags. But online, oh, that's right, girl. Thank you, Miss Brenda. Girl, <laughs> yes, 
Thank you. Let me go back to that. Y'all be having me all over the place. And I am so easy to skip to one subject to another subject. What I was saying about um, IAG. IAG, before I got on here. And I hope I pronounced it that. Thank you, Miss Brenda. Um, before I got on here, y'all, I was in tears. And I was feeling blessed and highly favored. Um, because... Um, I know I'm on my journey with God, and it's been a long journey. It's been a renewed journey, and just having faith in Him and in myself. So I look at this beautiful family called IAG. They're um, they, everything. I forgot what the IAG stands for, but it's, they channel us all about God and having faith and His journey from when He was 17 locked up to where He at now. Being on YouTube, um, having a farm and all that other stuff. And, you know, growing their own food and having chickens. And that's a beautiful family. His wife homeschooled their three boys. And she's pregnant with their fourth child. And it's just so... And I, 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 and, and I, I know people say you don't always want to put color into everything. But I have to because this is a black, strong family with a black, strong male figure for his three sons. And... And, um, and he has a story and, you know, and the story is like most of our stories and that we know if it's not our story, we know somebody with the story, you know, with the jail at 17, doing the wrong things, you know, this six, six years and nine months in jail, but came out with a stronger mindset with his head on his shoulder, you know, became an ordained minister, um, became an entrepreneur, living life to his fullest, worshiping God. God and taking care of his family and his day page is so inspiring and it's called IAG and I was watching them this morning because they got their um, YouTube plot for a thousand a uh, hundred thousand subscribers and just listen to his story and watching him talk and I, I was crying I, I was filled up it just this overwhelming feeling came through my whole body y'all I'm telling you not I didn't know I was crying until I, until I found myself putting wiping my tears from my eyes. I um, in his story and this to him tell it, and I was smiling the whole time he was telling his story, and I and I and I know I watches him, so I was you know visualizing their journey since I've been started watching them, and I just love their family. It's a beautiful family. His wife' name is Megan. And the three boys and Megan's pregnant now. Guys, if you want to go check out um IAG and um I just love them. I can't share a link while I'm on here, but it's called IAG Farms. And if if, if you went to faith and farm life and watching him grow his homestead and everything, it's a beautiful thing because it's not a lot of I'm not just gonna say this again. I hate to put everything on um on, on 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 color but y'all know we don't have a lot of black african-american people into farming into agriculture who's into homesteading and um growing our own vegetables and um tending our own animals and having chickens and pigs and all that stuff that's why it's so inspirational to look at his look at their channel because at the end of the day the way the world is going and things like that it's like we all gonna need to know how to do all this stuff. We all and I'm one boy. We all gonna need to know how to grow vegetables and how to um tend animals. I mean, they got goats, chickens, um pigs. You know, they dogs run around. They got 15 acres of land. They just they they put their own um trailer on their land. I mean, their story, his story, is just so inspirational and they have, and just a beautiful family. And um yeah, I A G. And I just, uh, I AG Farms, and I just sit and I watch them, and it, 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 it's good. And they put a video up every other day. Yes, and his wife, and his wife, she makes everything by scratch from their granola to their breads. And so his wife has a channel, but unfortunately, I don't know the name of her channel. Um, It should, it may be in a bio. Um, but she cooks everything by scratch, you know, does everything by scratch. I mean, everything she does, she cooks by scratch. They do that early up in the morning farm life. But what I do like about them is that they work Mondays through Fridays 
and they take the weekends off. Because since farming is their everyday job, she homeschooled it, um, the kids. She used to be a college professor. She taught school in college. So now she homeschooled her children. Excuse me. And um, the weekends, they, it's their relaxing time. Uh, my hubby watches a lot of gardening and, and prepping channels, yes. I always say I was born at the wrong time, Renee said. And so I'm just giving them a shout out because before I got on here, before I came to the kitchen, I was watching them and I had tears in my eyes. I was crying and didn't even know I was crying because I'm going to tell you, and, and it wasn't nothing but God because I'm watching this man and listen to his story and how grateful and, and how he got grateful he is about his journey and how he's willing to share it openly with the public and with YouTube. You don't get a lot of people that's so transparent on YouTube where that they share bits and parts of their life because they feel like, you know, other people are going through this and feel like it's something that God want me to share with you guys. And so when I was just watching him, I can't tell you how my body felt. I really had something come over my body. My body felt strange and I started crying and I felt warmth. If you never felt warmth when you see something that's just so genuine and heartfelt, you may not know exactly what I'm talking about, but I just felt something just came over me and I just was crying, tears in my eye. And I never leave a comment on too many YouTubers, but I left a comment on his page this morning. Just let him know how inspirational he was and how he made me feel. And I had tears of joy, you know, for their journey. And um, yes, and I, I want to grow stuff too. Yes, Miss Tom, Tom TV, yes. And I just don't know, I, I can't explain how I felt, but it was like, it was over. It was an overburn feeling with that. I felt it all through my body, as if my whole body just got warm and chilled or something. It just came. It just came out. Yeah, out of nowhere. And I'm sitting in my bed, and I just got tears in my eyes watching this. It was just such a joyful feeling, and you know, it. it, it, it you don't get that feeling all the time. So you know, these are good people. You know, these are good people, and um. Okay, um, 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 love and life united. I'll check it, baby, when I get off. So, yeah, that's my outcome. Do I want to give you guys that? Go follow them. Um, that's and you don't have to. Uh, this is my thing. Hey, this is my opinion. Every channel is not for everybody, but if you want to give them a chance and you're looking for good YouTube content, you know what I'm saying? Something to watch. They put a video up every other day. Hey, there's something to watch. There's something to watch there. It's something there. And um, I love it. And I like it. Um, what else? Um, the weekend was just fabulous, you know. I had no worries. The weekend was just fabulous. Um, I was grateful that I won the contest. I ordered me some clothes for she and I was doing that 4 o'clock in the morning, too. <laughs> uh, 4 o'clock in the morning on she and and everybody because what i wanted to get from tiktok unfortunately it was sold out um thank you angela so i couldn't get it so i said you know we're going she into the um curb plus do you better cross their page before aries yes and so i went on she in and ordered me some outfits so i'll be bringing those to y'all when they come when well, you know that stuff take about a week or so to get to you because it comes from somewhere else but um yeah and so i did that so you know that was a blessing in disguise and i'm just i'm just so grateful to everyone oh yes and don't you know taylor it's like when you get the cleaning or moving you find i think it's just cookouts on their property i don't think they're farming it's just cookouts on their property you know, that's why I think what country style is. There, I don't believe, I never seen any farming. It's just, just a bunch of cookouts. They just do that pit master living life, you know, barbecuing and stuff like that. Um, Taylor, is, isn't it crazy when you get to clean up, you find and discover things you haven't seen or found in a long time. Just like when you move in, you got 5,100 items like where did all this stuff come from over the years? You know, stash stuff this place and that place and everything. Hey, Willa. Hi, thank you. No, thank you for being you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
But yeah, so um, I, I this, that moving thing is just crazy. You'll find so much stuff spring cleaning, so much stuff through spring cleaning. Yeah, but you know what I always wanted to grow. Now that I got a patio, but see, I don't know what type of animals run out on this back out here because I was because I could get like a planter box, but I always wanted to grow my own tomatoes and my own strawberries. But I don't know what type of animals be because I know what type of human animals out here some dirty trifling ones that's what's out my back because Jackson told me I say, Mom, it's a food container on our patio, the people above me. Because by me being on the bottom floor patio, I call and complain to my rent office. I don't know who doing it because there's so many patios above me. They throw their stuff out on the ground. Now, am I going to have to deal with this during the summertime when I want to sit out there with my George Foreman grill and be grilling and a shitty pamper come flying down from the patio? Yes, exactly what I said. Joss said, Mom, you should see what's out on this. I said, what? It was a poop pamper open, and they be throwing trash. I don't. And the thing about about I'm being in the well, I'm in the bottom, and it's like four layers above me. You don't know where it's coming from. So I'm gonna tell you, what my rent office had a nerve to say. I called my rent office and say, look, this is so and so and so and so apartment. I say it's like every other day. I say I seen the cleaners, um, the workers clean up around here out back. I said, but somebody. It's throwing dirty pampers, pee bottles, um, curry out containers. It's throwing trash off their balcony and it's hitting me and the lady um, apartment next door, right outside in front of our patio, our, 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 our patios and stuff. She said, Oh, we already got complaints about that in another building. I'm talking about this building. I'm not talking about another building. And I hate to be that person. And I said, but I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep going to clean up other people's trash and you stuff. You should, why would you throw trash and stuff off the balcony, off the balcony and it's landing right there in front of, in front of other people, all in front of us. And like I said, if some of it either hit your balcony, it's on your patio. And so, you know, this lady, this man, I think it was a man, the last guy who I talked to, he said, yeah, we got complaints about that in other buildings. And I said, well, I'm talking about my building. This is building so, so, so what? I said, I can't pinpoint any one person, but it's above me well i'm so glad you called and reported because we're about to um send our noses to people about throwing things off the balcony and then we're gonna start finding people so that way we know we don't have to find you how was you was gonna find me for something that other people doing in the building i said well thank you that i did call you because it's not me I said, get out of here. How you going to say, oh, it's a good thing you call and do a report because, man, we, we, we wouldn't have to find you. I said, how was you going to find me? That You got to make that make sense. Since you don't know where it's coming from, you're just going to find the whole building for someone else throwing trash off their balcony and making the outback of our, of our complex look terrible. They know who got babies. That's what I said too. That's what I said too. Y'all know who got babies and who's doing this mess. I don't know if they got no. I said I'm gonna get me one though. Um, that that could be true too. West Coast Cali probably seen something near or on my patio and thought I did it or something. Yeah, cause I'm getting tired. At first, I wasn't gonna complain. But it's an ongoing situation. And it just made me think that the summer is about to change. I want to fix my patio up. I want to sit outside. And, you know, I haven't lived in an apartment in a long time. And I don't plan on living in this apartment. For, I, I give myself two years. But for real, I just want to give myself one year. I'm about to bust out these videos. My credit is doing good because apartment life is not for me. I done lived in houses for too long to um to be in an apartment. I can't deal with other people mess.
Only part mess I want to deal with was mine. Now, thank God. I thank God every day because I was in this situation. I thank God that I got a roof over my head. I thank God that he allowed me to get this apartment. But just overall, apartment life is just not for everybody. Because you got to deal with too much stuff that coming from, from different people. You know, homeless man was sleeping in our hallway a couple of weeks ago. Look out there. And my sons was like, oh, yeah, he was in the hallway the other night. We came home from work. And then early in the morning morning the homeless man up on the, up right there my apartment my steps and that flat part right there i'm like well me and jackson going to wash clothes um i'm like it's a homeless man i didn't know the man was homeless my sons told me and i was like and this one i didn't want to stick no flower outside because i was saying you know i'm scared somebody might take it i never seen this person before you know, it's just stuff like that you're dealing with. You know, and I understand you're trying to keep warm and stuff. And I ain't against nobody. I keep warm. It feels sad when people was homeless. But it just make you feel some type of way. Like, uh, because he was talking to himself in a circle up against the wall and talking to himself. And, you know, I'm not never, because I have mental illness, mental health issues running in my family. So I know it's something that people can't control and it's out of their control. But it do just make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, so it's just like, I told my son, I said, apartment life ain't for me. I said, we... <laughs> I said, we got to bang out these videos. We got to save us some money. I said, I don't care if we go back to rent. I said, we, we, we got to get a house. <laughs> but I am grateful. I am I'm truly grateful that my sons are here to help me. I am truly grateful that I got approved for my apartment. Don't get me wrong. But since I've been here, I just know this situation it's just like your water you wake up your water get cut off people got to get ready for work they don't tell you it's the last minute oh yeah mercy cut off water wake up one day i couldn't cook my gas was cut off i was like damn do i pay the gas bill what's going on call the rent offer the gas had emergency shut down the water stayed cutting off even one time we woke up the internet was off and they had nothing to do the internet company it was the apartment complex and they sent out notices on our gmail i was like I don't know if I get down. I said, <laughs> I said, what in the world? And I was like, this is apartment life. Emergency shut offs and this, that, and the other. And oh my God. Yes. Even um even telling you that they do um what's that thing come when they had the people come in your house and spray for bugs and all that stuff? Um Pest control. They do pest control. They send you emails saying they come and do pest controls on this day. And they tell you that even in the... It's the day so threatening. This is the thing that they threaten you. Um, hey, yeah, um, on Friday, such, such day, we're doing pest controls of this whole apartment, apartment complex. If we don't have entry into your home or if no one is home and we can't get in, we will be breaking the lock off your door and it will be a hundred dollar fine plus seventy five dollars. It'll be a hundred dollar fine because we couldn't get in and plus seventy five dollars to replace the lock. So you telling me. If I change my lock on my door and I didn't give you a key, and then maybe if I get this pest control um, thing late, late or early, that you're going to break the lock on my door, then you're not going to fix unless I pay $75. So I got to pay $75 if you restore lock, then $100 for a fine because y'all had to break the lock. And then it's going to be someone from the rent office with the pest control people. And everybody has to get pest control. It's undeniable. You can't say, well, ain't nothing going on in my unit. I don't need it. Everybody has to get pest control. They have to get out of sight, man. They're in the apartment space. I say all these fines and stuff they put up on you. This is, that, yeah, ain't that crazy? So I said, so either you, even if you ain't got nothing going on, you have to have the pest control people come in. And if they don't, they find in the charge you. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm talking about my rent over almost forgot I gotta go get my new uh, pocket stickers um for my pocket space and stuff. Cause they changed our pocket stickers. We got to the end of the month to do it. I gotta go do that. Yeah, and then bad enough we don't get free. Y'all, it's just like I said, I am so grateful for this song. I'm not complaining, but it just made me realize you know the certain things the certain dynamics that go on in apartment living that um 
I'm just not used to. You know, I lived in apartments. It was way back in the early 2000s. Uh, yeah, announce leave me alone. Yes, and they, you know, you get them through the email seller. But you know, I'm compliant. You know, you know, I I, I comply to everything because you know I ain't trying to I ain't trying to pay no extra money here or there. So I'm compliant to everything that they send out. Yes, I do get a little bit of flustered when I wake up and the water be turned off, and then they send you, and then they'll send you an email or something like that. So it's just what it is. Yes, but it's 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 all good. Like I said, we I got somewhere to live, you know. Yeah, Michelle, I understand that too. I got somewhere to live, and it's just that, like I said, it's a lot. It's adjusting, and you know, I talk about this before. It's that a lot of people we all don't like change, but sometimes change change is going to happen, and we, it's just all about adjusting to the you know to the change and everything. So I am adjusting to the change. I, I am getting used to it, but just when it first start off, it's just a little overwhelming because you're not used to these type of situations. And then you got to remember, you know, you're an apartment complex now. You're dealing with it's so many different multiple personalities within the people within your building, people within your rent office and situation, every everyday type situation. So, like I say, I'm adapting, I'm adjusting. It's not really like overwhelming, but it's just like um, it's just, it makes you think. You know what I'm saying? It makes you think, like, oh, my, oh my God, this is so crazy. But, you know, like I said, I'm grateful to be happy for my head. I love my beautiful kitchen. I love everything about the apartment. You know, it's just certain things that you do have to adjust, adjust to and get used to. And change will happen. Thank you, Stacy. And, you know, that's one thing about me. I've never been against change. I have always adapted to change. I always accepted change. Um, that was even within the workforce. When thing, because I remember when I used to work for the government and the office I used to work for. These ladies used to complain anytime anything new would come down from the director or something had to be changed. These some people used to complain. Why complain? You gonna have to do it anyway, or even what you want another job. So I never complain. If my job say, hey, we're no longer doing A, B, and C. Now we doing um M, L, O, and N or whatever. Guess what? Uh, on my only question is, are y'all training us in it? Yes, we're training say no more this hey i'm here for what a paycheck anything i work for the government anything that y'all going to change and implement i'm on board with first of all it's more knowledge for you to learn and, and, and some things changes for improvement and you know and give me time changes for improvement but people used to complain about the changes and what they not gonna learn and what they not gonna do how you gonna not learn and not do it you just like hear yourself talk because you're the same person that was up in the training class but you're not going to learn it, but not do it. But you're the same person that's up in the training class. Huffing and puffing. <laughs> Come on now. Make, make, make this make sense. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, people are weird, man. People are so weird, man. But, um, yeah, we got to adapt to change and everything don't stay the same. Life is a learning uh, curve. You got to adjust with it, get with the program, and get on board. That's all. And you just deal with things in your own way. You're going to overcome because God got you for once. If he woke you up and everything, he, he got you. That means you're here for a reason. So he's holding on to you. And if you keep the faith in him, because he always got faith in you. And you keep the faith within yourself and you believe. Yeah, and you speak things into existing things that's going to happen. Remember, this is 2024, people. Let's say it because we ain't think we said it today. We are unstoppable. <laughs> and that is a beautiful thing. We are unstoppable. And that is a beautiful thing. And that's how we live in life for now on. Not for this year, but the rest of our lives. We got to take that and we got to run with it. That's our thing over here now. And we can share it with somebody else. Yeah, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. I, my, my ribs has rested. What I did too, I wanted my ribs to rest because I took them right out the refrigerator and I and I cleaned them and I seasoned and wrapped them and I want them to rest, get like a good room temperature before I place them in my oven. Um, so we, they've been sitting here for over 15 minutes, so they're getting a, getting a good room temperature because things cook, meat cook better at room temperature if you guys didn't know that. So I'm going to now place these in my oven. 
I'm gonna let her cook for the next three to four hours. Yes. Let that place your water heated. And then after they cook, I'm gonna take the foil off of them, open them up. Let's do a little bit of barbecue sauce because I don't like a lot. I'm not a barbecue sauce chick. I don't do a lot of red sauces. Like, I don't like tomato paste. I really don't like I eat my reds without barbecue sauce. As long as they tender and seasoned, I don't need no barbecue sauce. I get my reds out of them. But um, listen to Cora Hawthorne song, Unstoppable is the most. Somebody send that to me. Somebody send that to me. Send that song to me. And I didn't open it up yet. Okay, guys, I am out of here. I hope you guys have a blessed Monday. I'll be back tonight because let me just tell you, Dr. M, our girl. We be back on tonight, guys, before 8. Thank you, Miss Rosa. Thank you so much. I just I try to stay calm and I was just moving at my own pace, but still recognizing that we only have an hour. I didn't want to ask what time it was. I was just letting them call out the time. When they call out the time, I didn't want to know that. Because I knew I only had 15 minutes or 30 minutes or 40 minutes left. I was gone crazy. No, the night is not trivia teller. Tonight is password teller. We played trivia last week. Tonight is password. And I am finally about to use that list that Dr. M sent me. <laughs> Dr. M sent me that list. Um... Uh, and, uh, I was just reading over that list, man. Of course, you know, Dr. M, if she catch us tonight, she won't be playing because she know. Because she the one to send me the password list. And she did like 19 or 20. So we going to password going to be good because some of them made me laugh. I was reading it just now. And um, I was like, she did good. She did good on these passwords. So these are so this is our soul squad member list for our password game tonight i'll be on here before eight i can't i i, I always say before eight because i might come on at seven might come on at 7 30 might come on 7 45 but in my head i know i gotta walk on before eight so it will be before 8 p.m i love you guys so much you guys have a great monday i'm glad everybody had a wonderful weekend prayers go out to you and your family and yeah and, um so squad, I'm out. I'm off with my ribs in the oven. And um go to sleep to about two o'clock. That's the plan. Already took my medicine. I already ate something for breakfast. So these ribs go in the oven. And they got ribs and coleslaw. So comment. I'll ask you guys later on tonight. What do you guys eat? Um, hey, um, I can't pronounce your name. Ishmael. Is that right? Ooh. Okay, I'm out. Have a blessed and happy day, everybody. And two to later on tonight, before 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, before 8. I'm one of the original 601 Raiders. Ah, ah, JJ 601. 601. 601. I hate that old, but I do it. I make a mistake saying that. But I love it. It's a number, not a letter. That's a that's a pet peeve of mine, and cause I I quote myself I do that a lot, and I don't like it. I don't like when people say zero when it's a, I mean um O when it's a zero. I try to I try to tell that to my children all the time. It's not a O. It's a zero. They say two seven o one. No, so you tell me it's a letter in this number. It's not a letter. It's number. It's a zero in this number. And I don't know why people do that. And I think we do it because it, because it is a circle. But I be looking at people like, when they give me their phone number, they're a bit of O. They have, I say it out loud. That's not an O, that's a zero. So you tell me your number got an O in it? <laughs> <laughs> that is what, now you know, we, <laughs> we all got things that, that, that kind of irk us just a little bit. That's my thing. That has always been my thing. I have always told that to people. And I have to I have to digress because sometimes I find myself doing it too because I be around people so much so I adapt to what other people doing but then when I know I'll catch myself and I say zero not a O it's a zero uh, I'm so guilty <laughs> I'm so guilty I am too that's why I say that 
Somebody follow me because if they follow me, they'll know that I'm on my live doing my morning check-in. Let me go see what this girl want. I love you so, Squad. Have a nice day. I try to say zero when I think about I do too. I do too. That's why I say I'm so guilty because when I'm not thinking about it, like everybody else, I'll say oh. But when I'm thinking about it and know that it's the right thing to say, I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let me go. Let me see what my sister wants. All right, so squad, see you guys tonight. Um, trivia, password, password tonight.